Hi, how's it going? Blazing Yeti here and in today's video we are looking at reputation in the LS car meet. We're going to go over how it works, fastest ways to earn it and why you want to earn it. Okay, so the main reason that you want to rank up your reputation level is because you unlock trade prices, car modifications, outfits and a ton of other stuff. First, you need to go to Los Santos car meet and buy a membership from Mimi. It will cost you 50k or if you're buying an auto shop you have the option of buying it there as well. Once you have a membership you will start at level 1 and every time you level up you will gain 5k. When you reach level 100 that gets increased to 10k until you hit level 200. Then between level 200 and 250 it's increased to 20k. After level 250 it gets increased again to 50k and once you reach the max level of 1000 you get a million. That means that by the time you hit level 1000 you will have made 40 million. But trust me it's not going to be easy there are 16 cars that you can unlock trade prices for you get your first one for buying the membership and then you will unlock a random one every five levels until you reach level 75 after that you get a 10 percent discount at legendary motorsports and southern autos every five levels until you hit the level cap there are other things that you can unlock every single level like clothing items, liveries and discounts all the way up to 250. After you hit level 250 you get a one day single use 10% discount at Legendary Motorsports or Southern San Andreas Super Autos. Every 5 levels and a clothing item at every 50 levels. Don't worry in the description I will have a link to the list that will show you exactly what you will get for every level. Right, let me just explain quickly how the ranking system works. So level one requires 100 rep points and every level after that requires an extra five points until you reach level 200 where it caps out at 1,100 points per level. This means that you need a whopping 997,400 points to reach level 1,000. Also, when you reach level 1,000, the bar will still go up, but you won't actually gain anything. So don't worry about that a bit too much. So there are a ton of ways that you can earn reputation. Easiest one to do is just go to the car meet every single day. After seven days, you will get 100 points. After 14 days, you will get 250 points. And after 21 days, you will get 500 points. These points can only be claimed once. So after 21 days, you don't need to come back here every single day. But you might want to come back here every day regardless, as there are tasks you can do every 24 hours that will increase your rep. For simply entering the car meet, you will get 50 points. And if you bring your own car inside, you will get an extra 50 points. And if you modify your car, you will get another 50 points. You can change any part of the car. All I do is just change my license plate. Now take your car to the test track and you will earn an extra 75 points the first time you do this. And then every day afterwards, it will be 50 points. You can also take part in a head to head, scramble, time trial and complete a lap on the test track. Each of these will give you an extra 75 points the first time you do it and 50 points each time afterwards. And if you test drive one of the test cars, you will get another 50 points. Meaning that if you do all of this every single day, you'll get 450 points, which isn't that bad, but there are still a few more ways that you can boost your rep. You can earn reputation from races, but for me, races are a waste of time. Don't get me wrong, they are fun to take part in. However, you don't earn a lot of rep unless you finish first every single time and you need a full lobby of players. For example, winning a sprint race will earn you 60 points, winning a street race will earn you 80 points, and winning a pursuit race will earn you 100 points. So if you're good at racing and you win every single time, you'll get a lot doing it this way because you can repeat them back to back. But for me, I think the next few methods are much better. So as you rank up, you will unlock clothing items. Go to the merch store inside the car meet and buy everything that you unlock. Every time you buy an item of clothing, you will get 25 points and there is no cooldown. So you can just keep buying and buying and it will increase your rank. So make sure you check back here every few levels and buy the stuff that you've just unlocked. This next method I didn't really want to include because I hate doing AFK stuff. It's boring, not fun and a waste of power but I will explain it for those who want to know. Basically, when you enter the car meet, you will get 10 points every four minutes. When you reach 100 points, so after 40 minutes, there will be an eight minute cooldown, then the clock will start again. And if you're wearing clothing from the car meet, it will double to 20 points every four minutes. So you can guess what most people do. They put a rubber band on their controller, leave the game overnight and just keep racking up those points. While this does work, I did a little bit of research and found that it does take thousands of hours to reach level 1000 this way. My favorite way to rank up reputation is with the auto shop contracts. This is one of the best ways to farm rep because you can earn a ton of cash at the same time. Every contract has two prep missions in a finale. 
both prep missions will give you 50 points plus 10k and the finale will give you 200 points plus 150 to 270k meaning that in total you'll get 300 points plus anywhere from 170 to 290k every time you complete a contract the best part is most of the contracts only take around about 30 minutes to complete and there is no cooldown unless you try to repeat the same contract in which case you will have to wait around about an hour to so complete a different mission each time and you can continuously do auto shop contracts you can also get 50 rep points from delivering a customer's vehicle instead of getting your staff to do it so it might be worth doing that once in a while so what i suggest doing is go into the car meet every single day in your own car customize it and change the license plate take it to the test track and complete a race or two then take a test vehicle and drive that on the track quickly hop over to the merch shop and buy everything you haven't yet and then make your way over to the auto shop and now start completing contracts and delivering vehicles until you hit that level you want to. Like I said earlier, there's not much to get after level 250. So unless you're a hardcore completionist, you don't really need to worry about getting to level 1000. But what I want to know is what level you are and how many of you have actually hit level 1000. So in the comments below, I want everybody who made it this far in the video to comment what level you are. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, consider hitting that like and subscribe button. It means a bunch for the channel. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. See you next time.